In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an eco-friendly concept slide. And this is how the slide looks. The moment I click, it will start appearing the trees and then the landscape and the buildings in the background and the families are enjoying the greenery. And you can see a little girl is riding a bicycle. So let's see how to create this eco-friendly landscape slide in powerpoint to make this slide we need this uh, images you can see here uh, these are some building images created uh, in adobe illustrator a girl riding a bicycle a family and a bench and a father is holding the baby and the rest of them we can create it in powerpoint so let's see how to make the slide Add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill. You can see here I have just selected the gradient fill and type I have selected linear, direction I have selected which is the linear down and then I am going to use only two stop. One is the turquoise color, the other one is the white. This one I am just representing as if it is a sky. If you want you can just change the direction you can see here. So this looks perfect for me. So I'm just going to keep it and this is the white again if you want you can just increase or decrease. So let's make the tree now for that go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw the rectangle at the top again change shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can use any light color here whatever color. Now this is doesn't look like a tree so we have to give the, the shape now for that go to insert shapes and I'm going to select the oval shape you can see here I'm just going to make some random oval shapes I'm select this one again shape outline make it no outline and give the same color press ctrl D again I'm just going to change a little bit here you can see here again press ctrl D increase the size whatever you feel better you can just add it press ctrl d again i'm going to reduce it only this much again ctrl d you can increase it here again like this and one more press ctrl d reduce the size so it will look something like this it doesn't matter if it is goes outside also so you can see here i'm just going to select this you can see it is all uh, this one different different shapes let me just select all and press ctrl g to group it and i'm going to give some shadow effect here you can see here now I'm going to make two more layers for that let me just select this particular uh, shape press ctrl C click outside ctrl V and I'm going to give a little bit different color somewhat dark color than this this is too much dark maybe this much okay and then I'm just going to add it as a second layer you can see here if you want again you can make it one more uh, rectangle also here that also will be good you can see here the same color shape outline make it no outline or I'm going to use maybe this color send this to back you can see here and then start adding the kind of a cloud press ctrl D So it should be different from the first one again control D and this one so you can see here I'm just going to select hold the shift key you can select all or you can just select one by one also 
so let me just bring it somewhat down and you can go and union also you can do it and again give the same shadow effect and send this to back move it so this is my second layer now I'm going to make the third layer the same I'm just going to insert shapes select the rectangle again give somewhat darker color than this shape outline make it no outline and then I'm going to use the same oval shape the same color I'm going to choose you can see here press ctrl D so it will be like this again control D whatever best colors or best shapes you can choose from this all right now again hold the shift key select all the objects and merge shape just say union and give the same shadow effect send this to back you can see here so this is my the tree shape tree design but still it doesn't look like a tree it looks like a clouds so let's do some more uh, shapes we need to add it here so let's add some grass here go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline make it no outline and you can give some good color here you can see here and let me just make the tree trunks now for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select this one which is the curved part you can see here just make it something like this you can see here one branch one tree trunk is going here or you can just make it straight you can see here all right shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and bring this the first one to front you can see here and give some shadow effect for this and this also should become front so this is my first one you can see here now i have to add two more trunks which is holding these trees so again go to insert shapes I'm going to select the curve shape this is for the second one again make it more straight you can see here you can make some different pattern you can see here any shape you can make it and just again same thing or you can just select this home give the same effect and then again this one send this to back below, below this one yeah so this is if you want you can just reduce the size so it looks somewhat far and then I'm going to make it press ctrl D one more here you can see here this is for the third one and if you want you can edit it right mouse click edit point and just change the way you want this to look you can see here I want this more here all 
all right and then this one send this to full back so this is my the tree structure you can see here if i want i can just increase it a little bit now you can add some more grass for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to select this one which is the freeform scribble and just draw something like this you can see here just zigzag shapes just draw all the zigzag shapes we don't need a straight line there just zigzag you can see here and then bring it straight line at the bottom straight line means no zigzag and that's it shape fill i'm going to use some dark colors here shape outline make it no outline and just send this to back so you can see here it looks something like this and again if you want this also you can make it somewhat curve select this edit point and you can just increase it like this so something like this it will look now it's time to add some of the elements for example the one which i have created before in illustrator control c control v here drag this here again format send this to back you can see here and again select this buildings control c and i'm going to paste it somewhere here again this also send this to back let's add some families and all those things so i'm just going to select this family control c they are just we can place them here a small girl riding a bicycle just paste it here and if you want you can just give the animation and then one father is playing with the kid small kid this one i'm just going to put it this side you can see here and one bench control c i'm just going to place it next to the family here you can see here so you can see here almost our eco-friendly uh, design slide design is ready That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.